Well, welcome back to Angling 360. And finally, a bit late in the, in the year, <laughs> perch. Drop shotting for perch, lure fishing for perch, lob worms, soft plastic, metals, lures, a lot. Can't beat it. Can't beat a big perch. Oh, that's nothing. Uh, there's nothing like it. We've had some nice, nice perch from our local water. Um, I believe you've won catch of the week we won. Aye, this one. Three pound, three pound four, which is my PB. I have had a three pounder, however, it's, there's always one more. Aye. Uh, two. <laughs> I'm home today, I can catch one if I can get it on a nice photo of it and a nice bit of footage of it. So is that a target? Three pounds? Three pound plus, isn't it? Not asking much. That's doable. Where are we? On a local water. Local water. I'm sure you'll I'm sure you'll recognise it. If you know, it. you know. <laughs> <If> you, <laughs> it's big enough, you can't miss it. But aye. Big locks. Big fish. Hopefully. We will talk through the setups and how we're going to approach later on in the video. Should we catch should we catch some of the anything? <laughs> uh, We've had a couple already actually, a couple of small ones already. I think it broke off by a big I got broke off by a pipe, yeah, a couple of fish. We've only been here ten minutes, so uh, it's looking good. The weather's not looking great though. I think there's yellow warnings for thunderstorms uh, later on, so we'll see how that plays out. That'll be interesting. Shocking. I had to do it, sorry. But how many how many spots we want to give a go today? Three or four, I think. Travel light, dot around. Uh, it's a Saturday on this water. I think it's quite busy. Yes, the weather's the nice, so we're going to try and avoid the crowds. Uh, we're down fairly early. It's not, it's not massively early. It's about half six, seven o'clock. Quarter past seven. seven. Quarter past seven. Uh, ideally, we'd like to have got here early, but we're here. Some, some folk need to sleep. Yeah. Right, let's see if there's any fish about. Any right. bigger fish about. The lob shot. Right in tight to the pier. There we go, bites instantly. Whoa. I think we'll rebate it. Eh? Well, we want to swing him in. They'll get bigger, we hope. That's a good thing about perch. Good thing about perch fishing. I thought that was a fish. You're almost always going to but... get something. <laughs> That was a fish, that was a guy swimming in the water. Right, bigger one. We've moved along a couple of hundred yards from the pier. It's fishing quite close to a, a rather substantial drop off. And all we've been hitting is micro perch, tiny ones. The first rain shower the forecast for the day as well. So, obviously, we'll be getting wet, dry, wet, dry all day. We'll get another couple of hours here, I think. Talk you through our, our setup before we move on to the next location. Oh, 
Oh, massive, but pretty. There's all the big ones. We stay at the worm it took, look. He's off a lob. Might try some lures next. We've been fishing for about two hours now. Moved location once. Loads of small fish. Loads of small fish at the pier. Gordon had one nice one just over the pound mark. We've moved to this river mouth for a steep drop off. Lovely looking mark. And it's been small fish after small fish after small fish. But we've eventually got something slightly better. But what I'm more impressed at, rather than the size, is the amount of stripes that are on this fish. It's the stripiest stripe I've ever seen. Have a look. Like that. Ten stripes. <laughs> it's not big. Still only around about the pound mark. We're looking for something three times that size. But they are getting just that little bit bigger. Ten stripes. Quite impressive. Hey, well, one of the things we find ourselves getting asked is, or getting told by some folk, is that we don't talk enough about what tackle we're using. So here goes. As I say, I'm drop shotting with a, it's a Dyla Black Widow drop shot 1 to 9 gram. And paired up with that, I've got a, an Aventus 3000 wheel with 20 pound braided mainline. Um, that reel's maybe a bit big for some folk, but I think it works quite well. I like the balance it has. I could go smaller, but I do like it. Attached to the braid is £10 pure fluorocarbon. And on that, we have a size, I don't know if you can see that, a size 4 chino. Fox and roll. That's a sea fishing hook, but we quite like it for the drop shotting. And I'll try and pronounce the name of that knot. What's it called, Alex? Palomar knot. A Palomar knot. And wait, if you, if you notice, the hook's pointing up the way. Quite get the focus on this. Everyone knows what it looks like. <laughs> but if you can see, the hook's actually pointing, I don't know, out and up. I suppose to out and down. That way for drop shotting is ideal. Because when you're striking up the way, 99% of the time you hook the perch in the top of the, the top of the jaw. And then probably about a foot or so down, a wee half ounce. A wee half ounce lead. Ah, you can buy drop shot leads, use athlete bombs, maybe use a wee stringer. Treble H, the treble A, B, B shot or whatever, as long as there's a weight in the end of it, you can get the job done. So I, that's this wee set up, no overly expensive, picks the boxes, gets the job done. So I hope that satisfies the, the tackle tarts that I've been asking us, <laughs> what gear we use, hope I've done all right. So I have the things when you're wading, searching for perch. Is these steep drop off? No, look, I'm what? Well, about deep. And just about three or four yards. I'm. <laughs> shit. I'm no way steep. That's just four or five yards. So it's always worthwhile watching where you're going, keeping an eye on what's underfoot, watching out for traps, falls. Stones, boulders, and it's going to. I'm, I'm usually the world's worst for taking a heater, but wading wise, it's always worthwhile. That wee bit of extra caution. Hey, where's that drop off? Right there. <laughs> it literally goes like that. 
Looks fishy. Oh, there we go. Bite straight away. Ah, oh, no. I think there's a tree there. Oh, well, there's snags, there's fish. A goner, I think. Ah, you hear it? Nope. I'm dragging up there. Oh. Ah, oh, I'm in that. Oh, six. I'm snagged at all. Uh, there's a big massive, massive tree there. Well, that didn't go to plan, did it? We tried and failed miserably there to try and get a fish on camera. <laughs> Without a, a deep a drop off, found a tree. Gordon immediately found the tree after me. Both broke off, failed miserably. So while Gordon was back in here, faffing around with the camera, faffing around with his gear, I went out and gave it another wee, <laughs> a wee bash. And it's typical, as soon as that camera's off, one of these turn up. And that is a proper one. Still not a three pounder we're after. But that must be close to two pounds. I'll give myself one twelve for that. We forgot the scales, so even if we do get a cracker, it'll be hard to know if it's a three or not. But that, in my book, is a proper perch. We'll try and get another one on camera then. That's the plan. Right, so let's give it a go. Let's see if there's a few more of those about. Wow, what a looking perch. I said 112, but that's, yeah, close to two. Hey, let's try that again without getting <laughs> caught up in trees. Is that tree here? It was, wasn't it? Yeah. You know, I'm caught up in my bloody reel. <sighs> That's why I like the bite stance. <laughs> Oh, there we go. There's a fish. Yes. Oh, 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 that's another good one. Yeah. That's another good one. Well, the camera's set up, the light's set up, you're on your own. <laughs> I don't think it's as big as the last one, but it's a decent fish. No, no, it's a nice one. Well over a pound. So we finally found some better fish. Ah, uh, yeah. Maybe there's a three in there somewhere. Those last two were in whole worms. Yeah? Whole worms. Whole ones. Whole worms in tight. It literally drops off right in front of us here, right down into about 30 feet of water. It's quite, it's quite scary. 30 feet of water with dead trees lying around. We're at the mouth of a, uh, of a river. So during any floods, there'll be trees and debris getting washed down here, so. It's an ideal perch spot. Bigger fish definitely give a more positive bite, don't they? Oh, <laughs> I kind of get one. 
small ones, very rattly. <laughs> Find that big you lack out down here. <laughs> it's a cracker, wasn't it? <laughs> that took a dead, was that a mackerel? Dead bait mackerel? Uh -huh. That was right out there in the deep water, wasn't it? Towards the bend, aye. 50 feet of water out there. Come on, he's a bite now. Dish. <laughs> oh, that's a better one, eh? Feels okay. No massive, but... I'll take it. Oh, aye. Right. That's a good one. There's one, eh? Ah, he's tiny. Nah. As Alex says, that was right close in. A bonny looming stripey. This morning started off a bit slow, but it's not slow. I mean, it was fish right from the start, but they're all they're all pretty small until finally found a few decent fish. But we've had some breakfast now. I'm desperate need of it. We've moved slightly further down the loch to venue number two of two of three, possibly four. So a bit further along the shore, find the spot. See if there's any perch around. And what else we going to be doing? Nah, we're going to do a bit of pike fishing as well. <laughs> Obviously we're going to do a wee bit of pike fishing. There's a wee stretch between the two perch marks that we know. Quite shallow water. Drifts out onto a... Sorry, it goes out shallow, drops off. Kind of weedy, kind of pikey. Uh, Gordon's done quite well there. I think it was a couple of nights ago. Uh, he's managed his, his lure caught PB for this particular lock. Sure he'll stick in a wee clip of it just now for you. Of course <laughs> I will. <laughs> but yeah. Oh man, what the? How did I know the GoPro on for that? Hey. Ah, did you see that coming out of the wall? <laughs> did you hear that? <laughs> Holy shit, man. Yeah, I'm just going to beach it. It's, I don't think he's even realised it's hooked, man. Just hooked in the roof of the mouth. <laughs> Get that coming in for this, would you? I don't know if the GoPro's angled right. Aye, right, go on. Oh, I wish I had that take on camera, man. Just watch, because it might go again. He's going to go it. It's wrapped its nose on it, innit? Right? <laughs> that take was un-fucking believable. Was it? Was that a good team, mate? I absolutely shat myself. <laughs> <laughs> 
just get one at the top of the mouth here, mate, I'm sure. Is that other stuff that's in there? No, it's just the way it's been done. I'll deal with the rod anyway, mate. Right, let's get it. You'll be able to <laughs> but yeah, starting the start the perch, couple of hours on the pike, and then we've got to another mark and I'm holding out a wee bit of old thought. I'm putting a wee mineral soft plastic on. I've only went out to a wee dark bike. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Right. Well, straight on some fish. It's not the biggest of fish. Fish is fish. It was inevitable we'd get a pike. <laughs> Just a wee one. He's nice. Yeah, we'll spend a couple hours up and down this, this shore. Try and pick up a few pike. Nice light gear. Nice small lures. Try to pick up a perch on that as well. A little X wrap, twitching shad from Rapala. I just have a see through on that as well. That's happened a couple of times. I started off the wee wander in the pike spot with a, a small perch shad shad is it? The wee waggly tail one. I had pike on it. I know for a long time, a couple of years ago, came down here and used it and got a good few fish. Fish to 14 pounds, but I'm sure I'm not the only lure angler that when you know you've got a particular lure in your box, you can almost hear it screaming at you. Stick me on. So that's what I've done. This has to be my favourite of all lures. It's a Savage Gear foreplay and a herring pattern. And it's a larger one. I think that's 165. That guy's 165 grams, is it? 
That's your Arnold 65 Alex, or am I? I'm looking at 16.5 centimetres. 16.5 centimetres, 165. There you go, look at Anyway, it was on this very low, but I caught my biggest fish from this water just the other night. So, you've got to use it, haven't you? It's seen some action, hasn't it? It certainly has, look. <laughs> Well, not, this, this spot's not renowned for massive pike. The biggest one being the one I got the other night. 16, 15, 16 pounds, that kind of thing. Never read it, never had scales, just box of lures and a rod and away we went. But I'd take a 16 pound pike in a lure any day of the week, to be fair. I'm not going to turn my nose up at it. That's, that's where we're heading, that point over there. That is. Just fish away along there. Eh? Ready for a right up there. Not one to do. This one might be slightly bigger. It's not that huge. Shifted a bit of water when it came up there. Oh. Great fun in light gear. I did say earlier that this is going to turn into a, oh, a pipe video. <laughs> in case the bird in the bikini thinks I'm filming her, I'm going to switch sides. <laughs> Is that a better fish? It's, it's bigger than the last one, yeah. That's not bad, actually. It's a nice one. <laughs> I think my lure's now stuck up in the weed. Yeah, you don't. <laughs> I'm getting my lure back in. Guess I'll be back snagged. in a minute. <laughs> Doesn't it? Doesn't it? That one, that one, that one, that one. <laughs> Great fun on light gear. A bit dirty, I don't know if you'll get them. I'm not going to show you. Close to your eyes. Hey, big video. Oh. Coming up for 12 hours since I left the house to come and pick you up. I'm burst. <laughs> Off going, you all lure chop, man. It's hard work, hard work. Well, we're catching fish. Yeah, what's that? Four, four pike? Five, I think. Five. Five on the, five on the way up. We're now at the perch mark. 
touch mark number two. Or three. That's my touch mark number three. Yeah. He's quite hopeful. <laughs> you think you lost a big one here? On well, Thursday? as I said, he saw the red fins as it rolled and then the, uh, the lure pinged off. Um, I was thinking small jack all the way in. It was one of the really like savage gear drop shot rods with one of the wee jig heads with a wee minnow on it. Uh, I mean, it was... It did feel a lot of perch, to be fair, but I thought, no, it's... But as it came up and rolled, it's quite close in, just as I brought it up over the drop-off. The lure pinged and... Guys are screaming, did you see the size of that perch? He said he's on the red fin, ah, so... Well, we'll never know, but hopefully we can... We can pick up something worthwhile. But actually, I was straight here and ordered love worms, so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, this wee mark here, we've, we've had mixed... Mixed nice. success on in the past. It's either really good... Oh, nothing dead. No, there's no really much in between. We've never had anything massive, but if that was a perch you lost the I've... other day, then fingers crossed, who knows? But it's just nice to have a wee seat. Ah, <laughs> tell us about it. <laughs> Feeling it now. It's had about eight hours of solid fishing. And we've, still got, we've still got a few more hours to go. We're going to stick this one out. We've got another mark in mind for later on this evening. But aye, but we... Confident with this one. Right, let's go on this. Let's see, let's see if his confidence pays off. Aye. I'm going to have a wee lie down first time. But... <laughs> <laughs> Christ. You no know, mention the hot blonde in the bikini. What was I was saying about confidence? That last bit we were at. That size. If you were lucky. <laughs> so here we are at our fourth and final spot. It's just going half seven. And this is the spot that we normally have the most confidence at of catching a three pound plus perch. We've got flat, we've got flat cam, it's just now. It's surprisingly not busy. Normally it's a pretty popular part of the park as well. But it seems pretty quiet. We've got a couple of hours left in our available time, shall we say, to try and beat that two pounder Alex got earlier. Still in the hob worms. The lure's surprisingly enough. I don't think I've touched a perch well though. Or the soft plastics. Lost a pike earlier on as you've seen, but... Aye, perch are no... In comparison to previous years, I've kind of been... I don't know what's the word I'm for here, Alex. Sparse! Yeah. In comparison to previous years. Um, maybe we just need a boat. Or a kayak. Or something. But we'll... Keep persevering. Still set up the same way. So we'll keep plodding away, and if we get that, or if we get a half decent perch, we'll, we'll be back. Oh, it's a flounder. What? A flounder. Holy no, oh Jesus. <laughs> Freshwater flounder on the drop shot. Don't see that every day. <laughs> That's nuts, isn't it? Yeah, a few flounders around about this area. I've never actually had them on this method. Ah, mind the big one I got cut uh, your pick, back. I pick them up on the feeder every now and again, but... Crazy to see, isn't it? But... Pure freshwater. They run up the river. I think they're a salmon. <laughs> oh. What about a bit of variation for today? <laughs> Species number three. There he goes. <laughs> uh oh. Didn't expect that. <laughs> Alex. Yes. As you know, drop shotting was something I never ever enjoyed doing. Yeah. Because I never really understood how to do it. Mm -hmm. With that said, how do you do how do you do it? How do I do it? How do you do it? Not necessarily to say this is how drop shotting is done, but how do you do it? Well, I think to be really classed as drop shotting, like officially classed as drop shotting, you really need to use soft plastics. We're using lob worms, so 
a strop Don't have with a cheating nonsense. Drop shot and <laughs> technique, but with with a worm bait rather than a soft plastic. Uh, but yeah, we've gone run through the, the setup earlier on today. Excuse me, I just removed the last of my worm. With a little perch nibbling at it. But yeah, what a wait. Palmar knotted hook. Means it's a bit skew with at the minute. It's been it's had a hard time today. But yeah, it's just finding it's, it's finding features. That's that's the key in fishing huge waters like this. This is a big water. You know where it is. It's massive. And from the shore, you're kind of limited to an extent. We don't have a boat, so we don't have the freedom of the loch. So you just need to be a wee bit more specific to where we choose to fish. Google Maps, ideal for it. I've said it before. Have a wee look at Google Maps. Pick out the features. We're fishing a, a channel just now. This morning we were fishing a pier. The pier itself is the feature. Drop-offs. We spoke a couple of times about drop-offs today. River mouths. Things like that. Focus your attention on the, those areas. No matter what style you're doing, whether it be drop shotting, whether it be crank baits, whether it be jerk baits, whether it be feeder, whether it be anything, focus your attention on smaller areas of the loch. Because, yeah, a water this size can be quite daunting to, to a lot of people. So, yeah, drop shot technique. Let's give it a go. Standing on the edge of a, a channel here. Because it was only about 10 feet deep out here, but that change in depth is all you need. Look it out. Go on the bottom pretty quickly. And then you can do this a couple of ways. I quite like just to hold the line in your hands. And you're literally just the slightest little bit of movement. Having that braid in your hand allows you to pick up the slightest of bites. You just feel it on your finger. Tighten up slightly. And if I wasn't holding my hand, it is literally just the, the slightest flick of the wrist. Almost vibrating the rod tip. Oh, there's a bite. There's a bite. So That was a good bite, I think it's nice stuff in there. Oh, that was the best bite of the evening so far. <laughs> but yeah, the slightest little movements, it's not a, it's not a fast. I suppose you could. You could give it a, a right bump up and then let it drop down. It's like fishing. Any fishing. You know, you can vary the technique, you can vary the method. But yeah, it's definitely a searching method of fishing. Just hope we can end on a fish. But when the drill goes up the road at 12 o'clock. Hindsight is a brilliant thing, isn't it? Aye. Didn't they go to plan it, at all? No. Nah. <laughs> it did not. I'll say it. It was push. Nah, it started off well. Good morning. Couple of nice fish. Couple of bonus pike. And then it just went steadily downhill <laughs> from then on. Uh, we fished a couple more venues. Uh, couple of areas that usually do quite well. Not today, but it's, it's fine. We caught our fish this morning. We've we've worked hard. It's a long day. What's that? 16 hours? Four, 14, 14 hours, I think it is. Uh, and it's 14 hours. I die for die, about 14 hours. I'm trying to work out when I carry it, shop shots. <laughs> but 14 hours on your feet, walking, casting all day. 14 hours sitting behind buzzers or behind a the rod or something like that is absolutely fine but that was hard work yep. and I was just hoping for that <laughs> that reward at the end but it didn't come well that's fishing we say it every time that we is fishing don't, we don't just post videos or photos when we're glory hunting we're no glory hunters we're just well we are we are a wee bit I suppose we <laughs> but, yeah. but we're not going to know make a video just because we've not got a four pound perch and a 20 pound bike to show yeah could be nice, but we can't, can't be great anglers or anything, can we? Nah, definitely, yeah. definitely not today. A couple of friends coming up. Uh, right, I'm ready for bed. I'm ready for the carry out show. But hopefully next time, 
we'll have a stronger note to finish on. I always, I, it was one of my, it's one of my pet hates in fishing is not finishing on a fish. I hate it. It's, uh, it's nice to start with fish, but it's, it's nicer. It's nicer to finish. I'd rather fish all day and have none and catch a fish in the last 10 minutes. Right. But it didn't happen, so we can't complain about it too much. Aye, we, can't we will, though. We will. <laughs> Bye. Wherever we are next time, as okay. always. See you there. See you then.